in at that one. And it looks like a nightmare for nightmare. Another 21-point game here. I mean, it's welcome to group play. Welcome to group play, huh? We got to figure this out. We have to figure this out, Nick, because the good news is it can only get better. It's true. Start hey, weeding it out. You're, you're going to get to the top. I still stand by if we don't get my guy Vinny on the main stage tomorrow. He's walking off. I walk. I got to talk, talk to the producers of the show about that one. One more time, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Chipotle. Uh, that's a missed field goal. That's rough. You can't be missing field goals. Big shout out to Chipotle. Helping make a lot of this happen here at DreamHack. The boy Dub Dot Dubby, the Madden legend. Dubby? Shows up in the chat as well. So good to seeing all the support from all the guys. And Dubby's telling him in the chat too. He said, hey, this is what you get when you get group play for, you know, day one. It's going to get rough, man. You didn't want to see it? You could have done it. Did something about it. Come here, put on a good game. Oh, big hit over the middle on D-Hop. Said we, said we might see a Houston Texans here in Nightmare playing with the Texans. Texans going to be another good team. Matt in 20 next year. I'm calling it now. D-Hop, Deshaun Watson. Will Fuller, Lamar, Lamar Miller. Miller, Watt, Clowney. Who else did they get? That's a, that's a tough defensive line right there. That's going to be tough to run against. You got somebody else that's pretty good. A strong blank. Come back, come back. Spreading out five wide set. Watson. Looking down field. Watson sitting down once again. Joey Bosa with the sack. Fourth and long. Eight sacks. For Master Gamer, and we saw that in that in the game between Cotastic and Beast Mode Mac. He had double-digit sack numbers getting to the quarterback. It's one way to really stifle some of these players here at DreamHack. Another legend in the chat, Nick, my guy, oh Larry. Two sport athlete, 2K, Madden. Very inspirational story. Yeah, a lot a of love for Larry. On Larry on ESPN. Absolutely. A phenomenal he, he's such an amazing person, such an inspiration. So much love for that guy. And he, he's talking about he may go hit some Chipotle himself. Dude, Larry, pick me up some. Well, I, I haven't know, been able to find it yet. What's the order, though, Larry? Do you go bowl? Do you, do you go burrito? You go in tacos? What's the move? I'm just saying, if you go hard, hard shell tacos, you're missing out. That's the one week move at Chipotle. Hey, go orange. You know, I know it's glitchy. I usually go with the bowl, man. You know how you said tortilla on the side? The fun thing is you can get the taco shells on the side. Yeah, I've done that. That's, I said tortilla on the taco shells. Yeah, just, I like the taco shells a little more than getting the big the big burrito. Absolutely. That's that's the I, move. I'm just the big cilantro and onion taco I love guy. It. Love them. Traditional Mexican taco. One pollo, cilantro, onion. Oh. One asada, one chorizo. Little lime on there. Squeeze a lime. But there is something special about that Chipotle burrito bowl with the sour cream, the cheese. Like you said, you get some chips on the side, you turn it into a little nacho gang. That's only for the advanced sploosh member. You got to be a senior sploosh yeah, member. Yeah, you got you to gotta have, that have some, some trips under your belt to, yeah, that, to try that game out. That's a senior sploosh move, as I like to call it. It's not for amateurs. Chipotle's got some... Uh, I remember being in high school. And, and Chipotle, I think it was just starting to get big. And they put a couple in our town. And uh, those Chipotle chips have, have been fire ever since. That, that's, that's, they got as good. And let's not sleep on the guac at, at Chipotle. Oh, yeah, you don't get the chips without the guac. You got to get chips and given. guac. Larry's saying he's going chicken burrito for sure. Atta boy. Can't go wrong there. Atta boy. The goo also in the chat. He, he's my, me and goo have done some serious sploosing in our day. There's Oof. one Chipotle, by the way, in Huntsville. <laughs> For it's it's way out there. It's by the Top Golf in Huntsville, but it's always been I wanted I wanted to get lunch with the uh, the Mudhead guys. Did they take? I went to did the Mudhead thing one time, and they took me to a barbecue spot. It was a Dream House. I'm speaking of we're at Dream Hack, I think it was Dream House. Phenomenal. I haven't been there. You yeah. haven't been there? No, we had some barbecue catered once, but I'm usually with Bugs. We're usually getting a salad or something. No. 
Boogs was there with me. Boogs went to the party. Uh, so Boogs just likes you more. No, I got it. It was good. Good barbecue, man. Yeah, you got to tell Rockets next time, man. They, they Southern have barbecue, the man. Dream spot, man. Rockets, what are you doing to my guy Nick? We got to get some We gotta get some barbecue out here. Oh, we're down here in Dallas. Go get some Rudy's. Streets of Empty is telling me it's cho e -so. Let's say Chorizo. Oh, picked off. Uh-oh, that's a lot of room. That's a lot of room for Master Gamer. He's going to walk this one to the house. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, touchdown, Master Gamer. I do believe, I do have faith, Nick, that we will get an intense game on stream. I have faith. We got three days of Madden action. It's going to happen. The law of large numbers says we're going to get something good here. Hey, we're just starting off, guys, today. We're going to be with you the next couple of hours, so don't go anywhere. Keep it locked in. If you've got to leave the stream up, go get some food. Get yourself a Chipotle burrito. That's fine. Come on back. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico, hanging out with you all day live from Dallas. DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament, and seen some dominance early in the tournament. Watson. Ooh. Ooh, another dangerous throw underneath. Three down. Three down. If you're in a if you're in a, in a Madden game here, you're playing against one of the top players, and your passing stat says you have 95 yards and two interceptions, you're probably not winning. You better have 300 on the ground. Nightmare. Stepping up. Ooh. Oh, I think he was past the line of scrimmage. Oh, that's oh my God. <laughs> the hit sticks between Madden and Beast mode. Is Settle down. Jeez, man. Reset, reset, reset. Bro, it's okay. Turn the swag down just a little bit, man. Third and eight. Richmond, Richmond. Now, now they're in the chat talk about food trucks. I like me a good food truck. I can mess with a food truck. Aren't a ton in Detroit. One year at one of our MCS events, they had the catering. It was the food truck that won the great food truck race. It was phenomenal. I assume by a food truck race, it wasn't like a drive across. No, there's a TV show called The Great Food Truck Race, and it's like, it's a reality show where, like, aspiring food trucks, like, you know, compete survivor style or whatever, you know, the normal criteria for shows like that to see who's going to be able to make their real food truck. And Zero. It's a good show. Good food? Yeah, if you like food, you know, I could watch stuff like that all day. I'm a food network. I'm a, I'm a fat guy. I watch food network all the time. <laughs> Breaking a tackle. Oh, he's got some room over there. A little stop and go, a little hezzy action. Tank carries 119 yards. It's easy math, 11.9 per carry for Melvin Gordon. My, my guy TX whispers, is, he's calling for the towel for the Texans. I believe I met whispers in... Houston as well the, the few years back when we were there for the Super Bowl and um Dubby and Problem played in that that amazing Ma Madden Ball Great final. final. God Whispers was out there showing support so I believe he is a Texans fan so it's got it's got to hurt him seeing the boys down 31-3. Our boy Rage like a boss up in the chat. There you go Rage. What's up brother? And guess what? We're going to hit the two-minute warning. It's 31 to 3. This game almost mercifully over. Will Master Gamer put another touchdown on the board, third and inches. I like my, my guy, Rage, man. He's a guy. I'm, exp I'm predicting it now. Rage, like a boss, wins a club championship next year. He wins a, he wins a club next year. Yes, it's going to happen. And I, He went up and made it this year, I believe, in the finals. He lost to Clef. And, it was a good game. I mean, Clef was just too, his offense was just so powerful. And then how about first game of the clubs, you get Clef and Mo. How that about game that? Was amazing. Well, that was a that, great That game. could have been the game of the year. I mean, that whole club's tournament had some bangers. I mean, you had Strafen and Drag, Mo and Clef, um, Joke and Crush, the Some Serious and Joe Rice. I mean, Kim and, Davis, young kid. I mean, that tournament was... By far, one of the most entertaining Madden tournaments I've ever gotten to watch or be a part of. Master Gamer into the end zone to extend the lead. That's, that, that tournament's going to hold a special place for me with uh, 
in the first MCS tournament I worked. And then, and then we followed up with the challenge, and how about that final with Kratobin winning, walking off in overtime? Joe Mixon. And then we had ourselves a, a pretty darn good Madden ball. Some good action from the Madden ball. Young Greeny. I mean, how, how about Young Greeny's season? He, he got his second belt. Um, you know, sign his complexity. They invest in you. They, they have you as, you know, one of their full-time players, and you're able to go back to them and bring that championship. You fell a little bit short at the club championship, and now Dreamy. Fell a little bit short at the challenge. He had a phenomenal year. He had a great year, and he's just one of the best there is. And if you're Skimbo, you got to watch out. If it, there's a legitimate threat to somebody catching you when it comes to those belts. Skimbo right now, the only person with three. Dreamy with two. Oh, yeah. Also, you had that Skimbo Spoto hater of a game. Yeah. But one of the most intense was, games I've ever watched. It was good. I believe it got ugly. Got ugly. Got ugly at the end. Young Spoto. Want to watch out for next year. I'm telling you. There's some young kids, 17, 18 years old. It was the, the Spoto Drini game, the finals, was the one that got, oh, that got real, real ugly. That got real ugly. That got real ugly. Drini put on a clinic. Take motion, 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 motion. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us in the Twitch chat. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us here at DreamHack. All the players out there in the pods playing their games. So come good to see so many people coming together to celebrate Madden on the last day of May. That's crazy to me, Nick. The fact that we have a $25,000 Madden tournament this late in the year. I know I've already talked about it. It just shows, though, how far we're coming. Yeah. Nightmare not giving up. He called timeout after that sack. It's over. They, they shake hands. They're walking out. Nightmare's out of there. Has his fisherman's hat on. Matt swagging around. It's a ball game. How about Master Gamer putting on a clinic? 38 to 3. Don't know if they're going to have to like do the formality of kneeing it out. <laughs> it's just a button. Just click on the button. Our, guy, our admin fizzy over there. I think he's, he's just getting the score. It, it, it's over. Yep. GG's in the chat. <laughs> Nightmare's got a nice PlayStation controller over there. Yeah, that was definitely a good one. <laughs> I, I, I like how you get to come out here, chirp around, and then as soon as